What's up guys? So, um, congratulations, you have now made it to the documents on the DBQ. Um, we're going to today look at document A, which is the major campaigns of the Civil War. Um, you can see there's a map here, and you've got a bunch of arrows that show the campaigns of the Civil War. And um, campaigns basically just means um, like battles or attempts to invade somewhere or movements. Um, and that's going to be the answer for number one. So I'm going to give you the answer for number one. A campaign is just basically um, movements in the war or battles of the war. Um, so if you look, the blue is Union campaign. So you can see where all the northern troops moved throughout the war. And then you can see the Confederate campaigns are in red. So you can see where they moved during the war. Um, so looking at the questions very quick, I've already given you the answer for number one. Uh, number two, did most of the military campaigns take place in Confederate or Union territory? Why do you think this was the case? So um, you're basically going to look up here and basically decide is it in the South, which is Confederate, or is it in the North, which is Union territory? Um, and then why do you think this is the case? Well, just remember what the um, battle strategy was for the South that we went over in the notes. Um, so that should help you for why do you think this was the case. Um, for number three, where was Gettysburg located relative to the rest of the fighting? So you can see Gettysburg is right here. Um, it's basically just asking you, is it um, to the east of everything? Is it to the north of anything? What directional... Um, significance is there for Gettysburg compared to all the rest of the battles. Um, number four, judging from the map, what do you suppose was Robert E. Lee's reason for marching his Confederate army to Gettysburg? Now remember, Robert E. Lee is the leader of the Southern or Confederate army. So why do you think he marched his army to Gettysburg? Um, I will give you a little hint. Um, you need to look at what city is close to Gettysburg and why he would want to be close to that city and get close to that city. So that is number four. And then number five, this minicube asks, why was the Battle of Gettysburg um, is considered a major turning point? How does this map help you answer that question? Well, for that, you're going to look... Um, sort of in your answer for number three, and that um, the location of Gettysburg compared to the rest of the campaigns. And um, you're also going to kind of combine your answer for number two. Why do you think this was the case? So think about what the Southern strategy was before Gettysburg, and then um, kind of add in your answer for number three. Where was it located relative to the rest of the fighting? So hopefully this wasn't too long of a video. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what was in document A. I will see you tomorrow for document B.